to not encourage investors to come in. You know, people stay on the sidelines, kind of waiting for 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 a big catalyst to um, to kickstart that that move. I'm Aprilita. Join me in the next half hour as we get their insight. slowly falling and the tightening of monetary policy starting to bear fruit. Global economic recovery is seen to remain on track. But the International Monetary Fund warns economies are not yet out of the woods due to several concerns like rising financial risks. Here in the Philippines, GDP growth is expected to fall between 6 and 7 percent. What are the risks that may threaten the growth of the Philippine economy? Let's now talk to Nicolas Mapa, Senior Economist of IAG Bank. So let me start with the GDP growth forecast. So our economic managers are expecting GDP to grow by 6 to 7% this year. Uh, do you agree with this assessment? Well, I guess anything's still possible. It's very early in the year. However, we note there are several challenges that the economy faces. Um, many of them are still here. Uh, well, one is inflation. Um, high interest rate environment all oh, still there plus you have um, you know, elevated debt levels by the government so all these three challenges the what I